Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at how we can create an isometric scene in Enscape. So for this scene, I wanted to go for a gaming setup part of a room and I wanted it to look very modern and with a main color scheme of red and blue. I started off with some very basic SketchUp modeling of the walls, the floor and the window and the rest of the objects were imported by the SketchUp warehouse. But if you don't want to go through all of that, you can get the SketchUp source file that was used throughout the video in the link in the description down below. I wanted to switch out that guitar for another one which was way better modeled and together with the radiator on the left wall gave the room some more context. Um, you might have heard me use this phrase a lot in these past few videos and basically what I mean by giving the scene more context is to give the scene some objects that you might find in real life in that same kind of space. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it will make the scene more photorealistic, but instead it makes it feel more like something that you'd see in your day-to-day -day life in a space like that, if that makes any sense. If you feel like this video is going on too fast, and you're new to SketchUp or Enscape, uh, please let me know in the comments down below if I should make a longer video explaining the whole process step by step. So I imported an already made model with the same kind of motive and we took a few elements from it just to complement the scene that we were already building. Even though the room had a different color scheme, I chose some objects that were easy to be adjusted to our liking, for example the microphone, the headset and some lights with a geometric pattern. So, after we've done with some of the basic modeling, I went ahead and opened Enscape to see what direction we wanted to go with uh, with the lighting in this scene. Firstly, uh, don't forget that in all isometric images, we always want to be using the orthographic mode that Enscape offers, which you can change it in the perspective menus. Uh, so, I went ahead and used some line type for artificial lighting that we're just going to multiply in order to give the room a different feeling. Uh, we're going to use those lights to emit the red and the blue from our color scheme and they're going to be directed in opposite facing walls to give the room some contrast. Right after that, I went ahead and added some illumination to the monitors, the lights with the geometric pattern, the PC and the arrow that we added in the left side of the room. In the lights with the geometric pattern, we use different shades of red um, just so the whole panels don't look very flat in terms of the colors that they emit. And by the way, if you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel since there will be a lot more videos exploring the world of architecture. I also added a very minimalistic lamp on the table as well, which you might argue that it doesn't fit the rest of the style that we had with the room, but I thought we needed some other type of lighting which is more common in our day-to-day -day life to be a part of the scene as well. The only object that I used from the Enscape asset library for this video was the trash can or the trash bin, however you want to call it, which was also added on the side of the table for the same reason as the radiator and the guitar, uh, which is to add more context to the room. After that, I wanted to create an effect that looked like there was light coming from the outside of the room as well. I did that by creating a surface on the outside and applying whatever material on top of it and then again, through the material options from Enscape, I made that surface illuminant with a neon blue color. After that, I wanted to add some artwork on the wall as well. Um, I did that by uh, creating a surface uh, while creating a rectangle on the wall and extruding it a bit. Uh, maybe extruding it like two or three centimeters is fine. And then we went ahead at Google Images and searched for red and blue artwork. And this was the one that I liked the most. And then I just applied it on top of the surface through the material tab in SketchUp. So after that, just like I mentioned before, I'm going to copy the line lights while rotating them from the right side of the room to the left side and applying the red color on top of them. That way they emit the color that we desire. So for the raw modeling, I decided to take some elements of the scene from the sides of the area. Uh, since the more we kept on adding elements to the side, the more blank the center of the room would look. And as of now, with the raw render, I feel that the red is dominating over the blue in terms of the colors, so I wanted to fix that in post-production in Illustrator. 
So as I add the render in Illustrator, you can notice on the left of the artboard, there's another exterior isometric scene, but you don't have to worry about it now since that is for a future video. Alright, so what I wanted to do for this scene to be more balanced was to add a blue gradient in the background, which I believe solved the issue, and I added a few shadows with different opacities under the room, since I felt like it gave the photo a little depth. So here's our final image, and if you've enjoyed the video and would like to see more, subscribe to the channel and click the like button since that will help this channel out a lot. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.